Hello what's up guys, here doctor technician helping you go further faster in technical fields, today, I'm gonna show you basic usages of keyframes in animation, so, if you are new here, consider subscribing and also press bell to get notification, let's get into the video. In this video, we're going to explore, the pretty much basic usages of keyframe in animation on After Effects. They're more advanced and cool lessons in keyframe animation. But in order to get to that stuff, we need to get the basics out of the way. The keyframes, we can define as records of the value of any parameter on a layer, at a specific point of time, based on where the current time indicator is when you record that keyframe. To show what I mean, we'd to go ahead and create an animation, so, let's actually import some images. If you are new here, check the i button for basic After Effects lessons, and look how to import images and footages to project panel. Ok, so we now have some images imported. So as an example, we're just gonna create a simple position animation for this layer. Where that plane moving into the scene and go off. We'll create that animation using keyframes. To start, let's select layer 1 by clicking on a word plane, and then go to the left side the layer, and click the arrow to open up the layer options. Click the second arrow at the left of the word transforms, to open up its options. Where we see several different parameters we can animate. Another way to get layer options, simply click P for position, S for scale, R for rotation, and T for opacity. So I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard, and that will bring up my position. Now. Since we want this object to move in the scene, then, we want to animate the position. If you look to the right of each of these parameters, we see two numbers, the left number here is for the X axis, which is the horizontal axis, and the right number here for the Y axis, which move the layer up and down. So let's start by clicking and dragging by holding mouse on, and will drag to the right directly over the parameter, until the plane disappeared off the right of the scene. When it's disappeared, you notice that, there's a little stopwatch icon by this position. Click once on the stopwatch to add your first keyframe. It's gonna create this golden diamond. This is called a keyframe in After Effects. You create your beginning keyframe with the beginning value that you want. You move forward in time, and then you just simply make the changes that you like, and it will record it on the keyframe automatically. And it's pretty much saying that it memorized the position data of this layer at this point in time. Now, if moved down in time, let's say 4 seconds. There is no keyframe. So, I need to change the position value to add another keyframe in this time, we can edit this value to bring it all the way to the left. And by the way, to speed things up, you can hold shift, and that'll affect the value change much more rapidly. So we can just drop it over here. And that's it. You now have created another keyframe for this animation. If we scroll through it, have this line that appeared, this line is called the motion path. Now, you can notice that, this one is grey and this one is golden, and the reason is because we have selected this keyframe, and not this one. So if I click on this, you can see that, now this is golden because we have selected it, and this turned grey. Now. This is useful, because you can actually drag these keyframes out in time, and you can see that it's actually affecting our animation. 
What that does is pretty much it's stretching the amount of time, that it takes for this layer to get from this position to this ending position. So all we're doing is just stretching out the animation. You can also make the animation quicker, or happen at a later point in time in the timeline. You can also select both keyframes by clicking and dragging and making selection. And you can move both keyframes down the road or earlier on, so it gives you a lot of control. And you can also switch their positions, so now it's going from left to right. So you can play around with this. With this position animation, we just learned how basic lessons of creation of keyframe. Now, let's look a preview. Whoa. It's perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much all the basics of keyframing. As far as the timeline in this tutorial. I think we're ready to move on to a few other options, which sounds like a big chapter in this tutorial, but it's really, really simple. It's actually gonna blow your mind, how simple animating things are in After Effects. There are three another transforms. This keyframing can be applied to pretty much every effects and transforms, that you wanna animate in After Effects. Whether it's the position, scale, or rotation of the layer or any effect properties attached to the layer, it's really, really simple. So as another example, we're just gonna use keyframing in a simple mask and opacity animation in After Effect, something really simple, so I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard, and that will bring up my opacity. And you notice that there's a same little stopwatch looking icon by this position. If we select that, it's gonna create the same golden diamond. We can edit this value to fade this icon, you create your beginning keyframe with the beginning value that zero in opacity, you just move forward in time 1 seconds, and then you just simply make the opacity value to 100% and it will record it on the keyframe automatically. And that's it. You now have an animation. If we scroll through it, we can see that the icon is coming to bright. You can also make the animation quicker or happen at a later point in time in the timeline. So it gives you a lot of control. And again, we just did three simple steps to create this animation. And you can also switch their positions, so now it's going from bright to transparent. So you can play around with this. And you're gonna soon start to realize that everything in After Effects, or almost everything, has a stopwatch to it. So you can literally use that technique to animate pretty much anything in After Effects. And later, we get into the mask keyframes, let me try to do that in less than 2 minutes, so I don't have to hold you up. We're gonna simply create text, by hitting this text icon over here, and clicking your composition, and that creates a text layer, and you can type in anything that you would like. To change the color, you can double click it to select it, and you can change the color over here to whatever you would like. You can change the font here, the size, and if you want to animate a text, just like with any layer, you can bring up the position, the scale, the rotation, and you can keyframe those values to create animations that you like. Now, what I'm gonna do here is apply a rectangle mask to create a slide right effect. So I'm gonna go over here to this shape. Right now it's a rectangle, we want the same, so I'm just gonna select that, and you can just drag it out this way, and that creates a mask, so right now, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the text layer where the mask is applied, hit M, M on the keyboard, 
so M twice. And that'll bring up all the properties for that mask. You can see that we have a property name, mask path. So, we want to create the first keyframe, so, a simple way to do this is, just click this corner of the mask, and drag to left part of mask, notice we have the first keyframe now. And move forward in time just one second, you can change the shape of the mask to the original, and now you have another keyframe generated here. So from here all the way to here, the mask, you can see it actually slide to right. Alright, that's it. Now look at the preview. We're done. And again, the keyframes here is to really experiment, play around with all these effects, get familiar with the keyframes, watch more tutorials. And notice that, this tutorial which has covered only the basics of keyframing. There are pretty much advanced lessons, such like types of keyframes, keyframe assistance, keyframe interpolation, and etc. These all based on smooths and speed of animation. And just keep working your way up to more advanced tutorials. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And until next time, Dr. Technician is helping you go further faster in tech. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.